Good to be with you all. The special counsel released their findings today about their look into my handling of classified documents. I was pleased to see they reached the conclusion I believed and knew all along they would, that there are no charges should be brought in this case. As many of you know, this was an exhaustive investigation going back literally more than 40 years. 40 years when I became a United States Senator when I was a kid. I was a kid, 29 years old. <laughs> Special counsel acknowledged I cooperated completely. I did not throw up any roadblocks. I sought no delays. In fact, I was so determined to give special counsel what they needed, I went forward with a five-hour in-person interview over the two days of October the 9th, 8th and 9th last year, even though Israel had just been attacked by Hamas on the 7th. I was in the middle of handling an international crisis, but I was especially pleased to see the special counsel make clear the stark differences between this case and Donald Trump. As the special counsel wrote, and I quote, Several material distinctions between Mr. Trump's case and Mr. Biden's are clear. And by the way, this is a Republican counsel. Most notably, after given multiple chances, this is a continuation of the quote, he returned classified documents and avoided to avoid and avoided prosecution. Mr. Trump allegedly did the opposite. This is a continuing quote. According to the indictment, he has not only refused to return documents for many months, he also obstructed justice by enlisting others to destroy evidence and then lie about it. In contrast, Mr. Biden turned in classified documents to the National Archives, the Department of Justice, consented to a search of multiple locations, including his homes, and sat for a voluntary interview, and in other ways cooperated with the investigation. That's the distinction, among others. Bottom line is the special counsel in my case decided against moving forward with any charges. And this matter is now closed. Hey guys, Thomas here. Um, um, you guys probably heard all this that was going on with uh, with Joe Biden and. Uh, in this whole situation with uh, special counsel and all this sort of stuff, and I, I got a, I got a take here, and I'm just going to put the cards out. Um, what Joe Biden said and what was put on the uh, the documents, the official documents by the special counsel, um, said that um, that President Biden willfully did this, willfully meaning that. Your will was to keep and hide these um, classified documents, okay? And that um, he wanted to charge him, but the reason why he didn't charge him, it wasn't that he didn't find he didn't find any. Uh, he did find wrong. Yes, he did. But he said that because of the president's decreased mental capacity he felt it, i couldn't charge him because he doesn't remember anymore okay what the president didn't say or didn't talk about was the the glaring uh parts that the special counsel said that he couldn't remember his um when he was president i mean when he was vice president uh, couldn't remember when his son had died he, he had gaping holes in his memory and he's basically said that the guy can't remember anything. So put him on trial, he can't remember anything. Now, uh, back in 2014, 15, 16, 17, when he was a um, free citizen, he could remember. But the difference between him and Trump, Trump was the president. And Biden was not a president. He was just a citizen. So he wasn't allowed to have those documents at all. So I'm not going to touch that. That's all I'm going to say about that. But the thing I'm going to talk about is because this man is in charge of the nuclear codes, okay? This man 
has this hand on the button, okay? And the special counsel said, because this man has decreased mental capacity, that puts him in question. Because I don't want to die. I don't want to get blown up. And I know you don't want to get blown up. The president has his button. Now, people can get dementia in their older age, and I've worked with patients uh, who are in their uh, upper age and dementia, and uh, I've seen it, and I've worked with patients in that. And uh, we're not talking about dad and the keys to the Chevrolet. No, we're talking about the president and the keys to the nuclear codes. And the problem is this. I don't want to get blown up, like I said before. I don't want to die. So there needs to be a national debate. Joe Biden needs to have his mentality checked um, right now, okay? So we know if he does have the capacity to become the president, or to work and to function as the president, because if he does not, then we need to do the 25th Amendment. And that means that we got to put Kamala Harris Kamala, hello, this is your chance to become uh, the first woman president. I know you want this, that, the other, but this is going to be the best chance you're ever going to have in your whole entire lifetime to become president because it's in writing now. President Biden has decreased mental cognitive ability, and that is in question, and there's no denying it. He, he's seeing dead people now. He's talking to dead people now. Um, um, what can you say? He's, he's misnaming things and he said, oh, this, I, I'm, he's got problems. He, his memory is not there anymore. He talks about Bo and next thing you know, we see he's, he's, his thought just stops. It's kind of like walking and you just forget how to walk and it can happen. I mean, it's the thing. I mean, I'm, I'm not making fun of this because it's a serious thing. Um, you know, with Biden falling down and, you know, um, you know, there are problems with people with dementia. I mean, this is, a, this is something that it happens. So there needs to be a national debate about this, but the 25th amendment does come into play here. And the Democrats know that because, um, doing, um, Trump's, uh, four years, that's the only thing that came out their mouth. 25th, 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 sound like a damn dead record. 25th, 25th, scratching, 25th, 25th. But the thing is, he has decreased mental ability. His cognition is not there. If he says no, then you tell him to prove it. Prove it, okay? I don't want to hear no noise, okay? I can tell you that the sun is shining and be pissing in your leg, okay? I want proof, okay? I'm not going to go on his word anymore. His word is garbage. So, you know, and who's in charge? If he, if, if he goes, if you don't know what's going on, anybody can be in charge. I mean, <laughs> it could be uh, his, 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 his niece. <laughs> It'd be in charge of the, of, of the whole government. And he don't know a damn thing. So what's up with him? Something's wrong. So there need to be investigations on this. And he needs to take a, a mental acuity to, to such time that... We know beyond a, a shadow of a doubt that he's capable mentally, physically, mentally to do the job. And if he's not, then he need to go. <coughs> Voting for him? Shh. Let's let's just see if we can get to the to the next to the next month with this joker. Okay? So Joe Biden, this is on you. Kamala, hello time for you to get off your ass and do something because like i said this is a problem everybody knows it's a problem now and i knew something like this is going to happen biden he he, he has some mental problems and this finally showing up okay y'all take care i'm out